Hi friends, welcome to Navani Spice Magic. Today I'm going to make an interesting dish, uh, Hyderabadi special, Hyderabadi Irani samosas. Uh, these are also called as onion samosas. They're small in size and they are very crispy and they taste really, really awesome. Let's see the ingredients for making samosa sheet. We need uh, wheat flour, one cup, one cup maida, salt to taste and oil four tablespoons and for filling we need onions I've taken two medium size finely chopped turmeric powder salt to taste chili powder garam masala powder cumin powder coriander powder poha we need to blend this poha in the blender uh, we need to add poha because onions release moisture to lock that moisture we need to add poha so that the samosas don't become soft and soggy from inside so you can take any poha white red anything it's okay but you need to just blend once in the blender then you need coriander now we'll first knead the dough for samosa sheets we need to take the wheat flour maida then salt mix these properly dry ingredients first mix them properly now we'll add four tablespoons of oil and incorporate this oil properly into the flour so that it becomes crumble so this crumbling method gives us crispy crust to the uh, samosas so you need when you hold them in the hand they should hold the shape now by adding little by little water you need to knead the dough it has to be tight stiff dough then add little oil and then knead it again properly cover it and keep it aside for at least 10 minutes so we are by the time we mix the pig filling uh, that will be done so now we'll take onions to this we'll add all the dry ingredients first turmeric powder chili powder salt all these dry ingredients you can alter uh, you can add to your taste you want you can add little extra or less it is according to you coriander powder garam masala powder then you need to take a, around two spoons of uh, poha mixture uh, the blended poha and mix it properly add coriander and then mix everything properly and that's it this is the stuffing filling ready you need not do anything on the stove you just have to mix it in a bowl now we'll start rolling the chapatis we have to roll the chapatis as thin as possible you have to roll them very thin if your chapati is thick then your uh, samosa are going to be little soft so if it is very thin then the samosas will be very crispy and on the tawa heat the tawa and just place the chapati and just to lose that rawness for a second you need to uh, fry it just when it starts bubbling you remove it of two sides you have to do the same way now because the chapati is round we want straight strips so you just remove the corners side corners so that the chapati becomes square don't throw these away these side corners leftovers I'll show you one more recipe with this in the end once you remove all this keep them aside now our sheet is ready it's a square in shape now you cut it into strips so depending on the size of your chapati you will get either three or four or two it depends on the size you prepare now we need to make a maida mixture we need to add maida to water and make a paste out of it to seal the samosas now the filling is ready we'll start stuffing in and making samosas so just check the method i'm doing fold it properly into a cone shape 
add the stuffing into it. Fill as much as you can. Don't overload it because when you start covering it, it might come out. So after stuffing, now you need to flip, fold it properly and finally you need to seal the open ends. Wherever there are open ends, edges, you seal them properly so that the mixture doesn't come out while you are deep frying it. That's it. So your samosa is ready. Now we'll make one more. It's a little tricky, but once you know the idea, you get the idea, you can do it very easily. These really are such craving snack. You just can't tempt yourself stopping by eating only one or two. You'll just keep eating it. They are really, really tasty. You need to seal them properly wherever there are open ends. Just put the paste and seal them properly so that the mixture doesn't come out while frying in oil. If some, if it is not sealed properly, the mixture comes out into the oil and oil gets dirty very easily. Now all samosas are ready. Now we'll start frying them. Heat the tawa pan, heat the oil, keep the oil in medium flame and fry them golden brown all sides you fry them properly keep flipping them regularly so that the color remains even all over see the crispy samosas are fried now tasty tasty samosas are ready now the remaining leftovers i told you just cut them into the shape you want I've, I'm trying to cut them into diamonds because anyhow the oil is heated we made samosas let the oil be like that now you cut these and once you cut them we'll deep fry them so these also become a crunchy snack you can just eat them like that plain you can deep fry them and store it in a box and eat them just like that or you can make a nice delicious chaat so once these also have to be golden brown so once they are golden brown remove them now we'll make the chart for this so we need this papdi then we'll deep fry little peanuts in the same oil few peanuts so you need this papdi we need thin save. We need onions finely chopped. Then this fried peanuts, curd, coriander, date tamarind chutney, salt to taste, chat masala, chili powder. Now in a bowl or a plate, you add this papri, then add little curd not much little then add date tamarind chutney over this little a bit not much now add chili powder salt and chat masala according to your taste how much ever you want Now add finely chopped onions. It's up to you. you. You Whatever you want, you can just add them or omit them. But these taste really very great. And add little coriander. Then the fried peanuts. Whatever we have fried, a little few peanuts. Then 
then the thin shape finally with the thin shape it's ready to serve now it really really tastes very yummy uh, same day same time with the same batter you can add eat two varieties of dishes i hope you liked it and if you like it please like share and subscribe my channel